Good morning, everyone. In case I haven't had a chance to meet you or interact with you yet, my name is Andy Jeter, and I am the new uh, digital design instructor, as well as uh, I've been working to help establish our new visual identity through our new branding throughout the school. And as an effort to uh, establish this branding throughout the school consistently and as a means of providing my students with an opportunity for an authentic learning experience, I have had my students help in creating our new email signature that we'll be using. So what I am showing you this morning is how you can add that signature to your Outlook so that it appears in your email as you send new messages or replies. So in order to add your signature, first of all, you will need to save the file that we have in the uh, email that you're viewing this video from. So once you've saved it, save it to somewhere where you can find it, either your documents, downloads, or pictures, or your desktop. And then once you've done that, in Outlook, if you go to the File menu and then go down to Options, move across to Mail, the Mail tab, you will see in the Mail tab an area that says, a button that says Signatures. And when you click that, you will also see whatever you currently have as a signature, if you have one. Um, in my case, I have our new signature. I'm going to hit the delete button here so that I can show you how to start this from scratch though. So you can delete your current signature by clicking delete there. And if you go into the um, new button here and click that, when you come up with a name, I'm going to call mine Jeter. And once you do that, you'll get access to the rich text editor down here somewhat rich text, doesn't have everything. But anyways, if you click on this little icon here that looks like a little picture, mountain, sun, computer, this little thing here, click that. And uh, I like to view my um, file explorer using the um, icons so I can actually visually see my um, signature or whatever it is I'm looking for. In this case, I am looking for this right here. Um, I saved mine as SIG5. Yours will have your name, most likely. Uh, and when you click on it and click insert, you will see it appears down here. Now you see a bounding box, but it's not going to do you any good. It's pretty much set in its size. And this is actually probably the best size to work with. It doesn't take up too much space in an email window, and it's still readable. Uh, Another thing I want to show you, though, is while we have this up here, how you can turn this into a link. So if you uh, want it to link to your class web page or you want it to link to your actual email address so that it prompts the user to write a new email, then you may do that. And what I, uh, what I do is have mine go to my email, but I'll show you both. And if you click up while you have this selected, Click up on the little link in front of the globe icon. You will see several options. You can make it go to an existing file or web page by putting the URL in down here. So if I wanted it to go to the school website, I could type in HTTP colon slash slash ICH dot Lee schools dot net. Or I could go down here to email address, and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to type in my email address, richardaj at leeschools.net. And if you wanted to have a default subject like, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, need more information, you can put that in there. But I just generally leave mine blank, so the uh, person who is writing the email has a blank slate to work with. So when I click OK and then go back up here to where it says save, 
Next thing I can do is over here, you know, you'll notice it says new messages. I can establish whether I want this to also apply to replies and forwards. Not everybody likes to have their signature on every email they send, but I, for me, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, and when I click OK, that's it. You just click OK one more time. And to test it out, if you go up to um, hold the home button here and click new email, should automatically show up in your email. So that's how you do that. I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.